she is focused on London. The goal for me is to be on that Olympic team next year uh, in London and, you know, be in the hunt for top position. Jennifer Joyce throws hammer in Kamloops. Her preparation is often solitary as she chooses to train alone because her coach is based out of the United States. I do a lot of video filming of my practices and I'll analyze them at home and I'll put them on YouTube. I'll send them to my coach and, um, you know, have him take a look. But uh, I've been doing this a long time and I've done some coaching in the past, so I pretty I have a pretty good idea of uh, what I need to do when I see the video. So it's just a matter of coming out every day and doing it. And, you know, it's, it's nice to have a coach in person, but, uh, you know, sometimes the other things like training facilities and, you know, teammates and, you know, work conditions, they, they take priority, so. While Jennifer Joyce trains alone, her determination and discipline to work hard is motivated by a spot on the Canadian Olympic team. It would be pretty amazing. It's been something I've been working on for a long time. I've just narrowly missed the last two Olympics, so it's been a little bittersweet and it's been a long road, but uh, to actually be on that team would be absolutely amazing. Her road to the Olympic Games is going to be a steep climb. She's coming off a back injury, so making the Olympic standard for hammer throw in Canada is going to be difficult. This year they're going to go with that, which is 71 meters, 50 centimeters. And uh, that's going to take, you know, a big performance on my part because my personal best is 70-35. So I'll have to definitely improve, but it's uh, well within range. It may be a long shot to qualify for London in 2012, but Jennifer Joyce will keep pushing herself each day as she believes with time, the Olympics are not far away. Gareth Maddock-Jones, CFJC Sports.